Welcome to Campaign Chronicles. Here's what's playing on Beast Politics today. Peter Boyer, cover story in Newsweek, I Will Prevail, talking to Mitt Romney about his endurance test fight to win Florida and beyond. Also, Lois Romano giving a dispatch from Florida today on Mitt Romney keeping the heat on Newt as it comes to primary day tomorrow, January 31st. In the spirit of fair, fair and balanced, there's something we got to talk about, though, because I love it. We've got uh, David Frum defending the axis of evil speech, which he penned, the in some quarters infamous axis of evil speech, and on the same page, Wayne Barrett attacking the neocons and, and, and saying that Newt is the visage of their attempt to get back into power from the shadowy corridors of think tanks. Um, and then John Batchelor talking about uh, whether or not the GOP is self-destructing. It's all focus on Florida right now, and I just got back. The fight there is getting ugly, folks. This is all negative ads all the time. Turn on the TV, turn on the radio. What you get is a steady stream of negative ads, mostly from Romney and his uh, Restore America PAC against Newt Gingrich. All sorts of allegations, how he worked with Nancy Pelosi to, uh, to keep in place the China, uh, China's brutal one-child policy. I mean, these things get fairly obscure, but the overall tone is to make Newt Gingrich toxic. Even, even Mitt Romney's get out the vote mailings are anti-Newt. That's how much they want to not just win Florida at this point, because the momentum shifted in their favor, but destroy Newt Gingrich. For his part, I uh, saw him give a press conference outside a mega church outside Tampa yesterday. Newt is vowing to go on to Tampa at the convention no matter what happens in Florida. The polls do show Rom Romney decisively getting the tide back in his favor there. But uh, Newt makes the point that there are a lot of southern states that have primaries even after Super Tuesday. And this is a delegate fight at the end of the day. You need 1,144 delegates to get the Republican nomination. Right now, uh, Romney has 30, Newt has 25. So this thing is still very much in play, at least on paper. That's all for me for Campaign Chronicles today. We'll see you tomorrow.